Welcome to MT Engineering. This is the second part of the tutorial which is on modeling this beautiful maze tracer machine in SOLIDWORK. I hope you'll enjoy it. Open part. Click OK. Then choose front plane, sketch, normal, and go to lines, sketch lines, sketch a line from this point to there, and choose the line and the midpoint of the sketch, and make it midpoint, then again, go uh, smart dimension, Add a dimension from the center of the line to the end of the line and type for 415 millimeter. Then choose the line construction geometry. Then draw a line. like this and again in the opposite direction draw the same similar line then choose this line and this line make it equal choose this line and this line no this line and this line make equal Then we have to add a dimension on it. Type a dimension 100 millimeter and here 80 millimeter. Then choose three point arcs. Choose this point and this point. Drag it as much as you can and drop that there and we get this curve so we have to select all of these lines and offset into this choose offset deselect this line and type it the dimension offset dimension 60 millimeter click ok then choose line fill the gap between this and this line and again here similarly close the gap select then it is ready go to features extrude both base keep mid plane and extrude it around you know, 1200 millimeter Now we get this feature and choose top plane, sketch, draw line, and right click construction geometry, draw center rectangles. Add dimension on it. Choose dimension. Add dimension. Two hundred fifty. Then specify this dimension. 250 millimeter then extrude cut flip the direction through all click ok then again choose top plane sketch normal choose this edge this 
this and this edge convert into this go to features extract both base choose offset from surface choose this face and delete it it will make these parts from this face and type the dimension then click ok now choose this face sketch normal then choose center rectangle rectangle and here draw rectangle from here around there and go to smart dimension add a dimension on it specify this height around 75 millimeter and here 150 millimeter then exit the sketch then we have to draw another sketch in new plane so we add new plane which is parallel to the right plane and flip the direction around type the dimension around 400 millimeter then click ok and again choose this plane and sketch then go to rectangle and draw a rectangle here put it around there draw a line make it construction geometry choose this point and this line make it coincidence and again smart go to smart dimensions and specify the dimension of this sketch now it is fully defined so go to exit the sketch and now using two, these two sketches and using lofted post base choose this point and this point we get this feature hide this sketch and it is fully solid inside so we have to sh choose shell and type the distance thickness of 5 millimeter then click ok now we get this shell so we have to cut this feature here so go to top plane sketch and go to ba go back to wireframe and choose the inside edges then go to trim extent 
and cut this line here and these unnecessary lines now it is ready then go to features extrude cut cut it around flip the direction cut it around there drag it up a little bit now it is perfect i think this is perfect click ok go back to solid edges now we get this hollow shape so you can add an appearance on it now i think this looks beautiful Here is the skin part. Choose parts, click OK. Then draw a circle, smart dimension, specify the dimension of this circle around Six six hundred millimeter. Go to features, extrude both base. Then keep mid plane. Click OK. Then. To stop plain sketch, draw a line from this right click construction geometry, draw a circle, type a dimension, thirty millimeter and specify the dimension of this circle around 30 mm diameter go to features extrude both base of this form surface then type around 60 millimeter height then click ok then choose right plane sketch go to zoom to this feature and choose line draw line and choose this line specify the dimension of this line 9.5 millimeter and here 40 millimeter choose this edge and specify the dimension 1 millimeter zoom it a little bit and specify drag it down a little bit and specify the dimension from this point to this from this 
edge to this line around one millimeter. Now go to three point arcs, choose this point and this point uh, up to there. Specify the dimension of this arc. around four, 405 mm, 50 mm then you have to choose line and draw center line then choose Smart dimension and add dimension on this around 60 millimeter. Go to features, revolve cut, click OK. Now we get this feature. So choose both of these features and we have to pattern, we have to choose linear pattern. And see direction, choose this face and type dimension, the distance between these. Around 72 millimeter and type the instance 16. Then click OK. Then choose this linear pattern and you have to go to circular pattern. Choose this face and type dimension. Type the number of instances around 20 number of instances, then click OK. Choose this face sketch, go to circle, draw a circle here. Smart dimension, specify the circle di diameter. Go to features, extrude both base, extrude it around 250 millimeter. Then click OK. In the opposite direction, choose this face sketch. Choose the center and draw a circle. Specify the diameter of this circle around 80 millimeter. Then go to features, extrude both base. Sorry, around 55 millimeter. Extrude both base around 80 millimeter. Then click OK. Now we get this part. You can add an, you can add a material by using right click and edit material. Then specify the material you want. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.